Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. Up today, the Jet Blaster SATA review. My friends, the Jet Blaster SATA comes with a price tag of $69.99 and offers two color variants at this time. You can have the blue version, such as the one that I chose, or a red version, which basically take all the blue parts, make them red, that's what it's gonna look like. Inside the box, you'll find the following, a set of directions, 12 Jet Blaster darts, two halves of the blaster, a stock, an extra bolt sled with some actual extra parts that are actually inside with the two pins that'll actually hold the blaster together, and also a 12 round ambi magazine. Assembling your SATA is quite simple, guys. The bolt sled has two holes on each side of it. You're simply gonna unscrew these silver mounts and you're going to tighten them down, which will actually tighten the bolt sled in. Simply line it up. There's tracks inside here, here, and here. You're simply going to line that up. And you're also going to make sure inside that the bolt sled actually catches on a track for that portion as well. Simply close it in. Now that the SATA blaster is actually, the two halves are actually snapped together and everything is aligned where it's supposed to be, you're actually going to see this little hole here as well as this little hole here. That is where you're actually going to insert your two pins. One pin is longer than the other. They both have this little notch that is elevated to actually hold it in place. So you're simply gonna take the smaller one of the two and you're going to insert it in the upper portion up here. Then you're gonna take your bigger one and you're gonna stick it in over here by where the magwell is just in front. And voila, your blaster is assembled and ready to fire. The beauty about these pins is it eliminates all types of screwdrivers and screws that you need to pull out to disassemble this blaster. Pull these two pins out and pull the two halves apart and you are inside immediately if you want to do a spring change or mess around with anything else that you would like to mess around with. Keep in mind that this blaster is more made for more serious people that like are in the Nerf community and for modders. They make everything extremely easy to get inside the blaster and it disassembles within seconds. Now that the two halves of the blaster are together and locked in place by the pins, all you need to do is simply take your stock that comes with the blaster, slide it on, and then there's a little clip right here right there that you're actually gonna take onto both sides, pull down, and slide it onto the blaster. Once it's on there, you can actually slide this by pulling down and forward or back, all the way to the back, as far as if this is where you would like to keep it for your shoulder. So it's adjustable to like, I don't know, three or four different points. Pretty nice. Keep in mind that when you go to take this off, you actually have to pull down quite far because there's a lip back here to hold the stock on. So you actually have to get over that lip. That can be a little bit of an annoyance, but nothing really to complain about. The stock like this is actually quite comfortable and nice. Quick overview of the features on this blaster. It does have one extremely long Picatinny tactical rail. It has a tactical sling mount here, which will actually fit two clips from a bandolier or however else you would like to sling this bad boy up. Stock actually adjusts to multiple positions. It has a trigger lock mechanism right here. So it should be depressed or pressed or engaged anytime you are not gonna use the blaster. You have two magazine release buttons, one here and one on the other side, making it ambidextrous, always a great feature. Once you are ready to insert the magazine, simply pull back on the priming mechanism, go ahead and insert your magazine, pull forward, aim, and fire. Now, here's the part I do like. Let's say you wanna get rid of the magazine, but you don't wanna play anymore. Simply go ahead and prime it in the rear position. Use either one of the mag release buttons, whichever one you prefer. Take the magazine out and let's say we're gonna be done for the day. Simply hold on to the priming mechanism and pull the trigger while you're holding this. And you can actually deprime the blaster without actually dry firing it, like such. And simply put your trigger lock mechanism on and go ahead and store. Great features. And then second, I know I spoke about the Ambi Mag earlier. As you can tell with all Nerf magazines, they usually have an arrow pointing in which direction the dart head should face. The great thing about the Jet Blaster magazines, you don't have to worry about it. Put it this way or switch it and put it this way. Just make sure all the heads of your darts face the same direction. It'll work. The magazine is compatible with Nerf magazines as well as the Jet Blaster magazines, it will use the Katana magazine system. I don't have that to demonstrate. And if you actually pick up the Worker Short Dart magazines, it'll actually be compatible with that as well. Jet Blaster ammo, we're gonna fire worker 
short darts in the worker magazine and we're also going to fire nerf elite darts in a nerf magazine of course 80 feet to the end of the driveway 50 feet to the gate zero to no wind we're right after a storm so i may ruin some darts in the water if they don't get past there and it is extremely hot out here so let's see how these work. Here you go, I had a couple of misfires that were under uh, 50 feet, and you'll see one right there with the jet blaster dart. That was two with the jet darts, but I gotta be honest, a couple of them were at about 55, 60, but look at the majority, well over 80 feet, even the couple that kind of curved out here to the left, one there and one way up right there. We're really far and out there. And this was just really impressive, I gotta tell you. I had one misfire with the short that I actually had to go get a pair of pliers to dig out because it affected misfed. But the majority are well over 80 feet. And that was the best dart, was this elite dart here. And like I said, the end of the driveway is 80 feet. That's about close to 100. Great power with assorted different darts. All right, my friends, we're gonna shoot at the red mask, the blue mask, the white mask, the red dot, and the flashlight. We're about 20 feet away. Switching to Nerf. example of a jam inside with the yellow one. This one's actually easy to get out, so we'll just clear it. Go back in. That one was actually my fault. I didn't prime it all the way back. <laughs> Got a double shot that time. Finally, we're going to try a 10 round magazine with AccuFake darts. <laughs> Not bad. Oh my god, guys, the Jet Blaster SATA is a fantastic, well thought out blaster platform. It's very fun to shoot, and it's well balanced, stylish, and just has everything you would want in a blaster. Now keep in mind, now that I completed the indoor test, I put the paces through in a controlled environment of 74 degrees, as well as outside in extreme humidity with 95 degrees. And I will say the magazine compatibility was on point. Um, I did have some problems with the worker darts as far as jamming, but honestly, that was my fault. I think it was more my fault in user error than it was actual mechanics of the dart or magazine. The, um, the priming mechanism down here, um, from coming in from outside, my hand was sweaty, I was sweaty, it was 95 degrees outside, and my hand kept slipping off this. If you know about the Nerf Alpha Trooper, you know there's a little like lip that comes down here to actually aid you, so your hand kind of pushes against that so you can actually prime it better. And in this case, I think it was my fault of either my hand slipping or not just totally priming it properly. So I would just kind of overlook those. Now the one thing I will say is though, when I did have a jam, it is very difficult to clear in this blaster because there's no room in here for your fingers. I literally had to take my fishing pliers out to grab one of the short darts and pull it out. Now on the indoor test, I got lucky and a couple of them were just dangling so I could just stick my finger in and pop it through. So overall, I'm extremely pleased with this bla blaster platform. So overall, my friends, if you want to tinker with your blaster, up your performance and have a great dual threat blaster with shooting long darts and short darts right out of the box, the same is for you. If you're a parent of a very casual nerfer who just likes to have fun in the backyard with a bunch of his friends by picking up random nerf blasters, there's nothing wrong with that. This may not be for you. 
So I think that's pretty much a fair assessment of the SATA. I personally really like it. I can't wait to get an upgraded spring or pick up the new barrels that will be coming out for this in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Jet Blaster SATA review. See you guys on the next video.